any state, whether it's who, who you're going to hire as a football coach or, or, or who you're going to hire you know, as the university president, uh, those people make the same the decisions over and over again. They have their, they have their, their fingers in almost everything that's important to the state. That's why PRP has already spent $1.5 million to take it down, and they're going to spend $2 million before uh, this election is over. I'm disappointed that Kirk uh, would allow his photo to be used in the, uh, uh, the PRP ads. But the last debate, uh, he was asked whether he would disavow, disavow those tactics, which he knows are false and smear. And he kept on running on the question and said, well, no, I don't control that to those people. Yeah, I understand that. But Kirk, you've known me for a long time. And one of the debates, you said you were very proud to, 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 to help re-elect me in 1990. Change your mind, uh, you know. Uh, this election is about the exercise of power. That's what it basically boils down to. All the other issues are important, but not as important as people, you, the public, once again, taking hold of the decisions which will affect not only your lives, but uh, your children and grandchildren. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for attending today. I know it's a Saturday. You guys could be off surfing, doing your laundry, yard work, spending time with your loved ones. And you're here. And I want to thank you. That means something. I think it's critical. Um, I have to tell you a story because Ben has now made this campaign about power. Earlier he's running to kill rail. Yesterday we were at a forum in Waikiki, tourism lodging. I was standing up just like this. Ben was sitting here. His phone rang. His iPhone. I, have, I just got an iPhone. But it was amazing, it's kind of big, and I could see, I could look down and it said, Gov Abercrombie. And I said, Ben, Gov Abercrombie's calling, you better take it. And he goes, yeah, oh, governor's calling. And he, he didn't take, to be his wife. He didn't take the call. Well, I said, Gov Abercrombie. <laughs> and was the point I'm making, that when we talk about power, next to me, to my left, is a former governor, former lieutenant governor former head of many committees in the House and Senate, getting a call from the governor's wife, or the governor. He says he talks to the governor all the time. The governor is one of the most powerful people in our state. Would most of you agree? The governor was involved in this most recent thing at the UH. Most of it would agree. It's written about in the paper. So to somehow pretend that Ben is fighting power when his best friend at the very center of power. Now he's partly upset because I've gotten support of unions.